Hi guys, welcome to today's tutorial. It's called Understanding JPEGs. So this is hopefully going to be a really uh, sort of useful tutorial for you guys, um, mainly because on the customer service team we do get a lot of questions in regards to um, sort of images being downloaded as a smaller file size than you originally see on the Alamy site. So the reason for this is, is because when you download the image from the Alamy site, it comes to you in a compressed JPEG file format. So JPEGs are an industry standard format for stock agencies to store, send and for customers to download images. So the idea effectively is that um, it saves a lot of space, you guys can download the image quickly and you can get to work and hopefully save time on your projects. So if you imagine it like this, a JPEG squishes the original file like folding up a sheet of paper to fit in an envelope. But the great thing about a JPEG is that when you open it the other end, it will be perfectly restored and that's the original image file size. So it's really easy. All you need to do is when you've downloaded your file, you need to open it up in an editing software such as Adobe Photoshop and it will open the image to its original file size. I should say, however, that if you're buying the image for personal use, then you don't need to worry about this whatsoever because you can forward the image to your printers and they will do the same for you. So I'm just going to run you through the process really quickly so that you guys can follow at your end. Um, once you've selected an image from the Alamy site, all you need to do is just download it. it. That can either be if you have an easy download, if you're a registered client with us, or if you're purchasing as a guest, you're more than welcome just to click this big download button and it will take you to the checkout. And then once you've licensed the image, you download the, um, you download the uh, JPEG. Okay, so I can see here that the maximum file size for this image is 73.3 megabytes, which is awesome. But I also know that this is gonna take me ages to download, which is can be a bit of a pain. So we just go straight to my desktop, because I've already downloaded the image just to show you. Um, if we just quickly right click, okay, and then we scroll down to, um, I believe it's get info. Okay, I can see that on my desktop, it's 2.3 megabytes. So basically it's compressed, it's a JPEG. That's not to worry. As I mentioned before, all you need to do is you're, if you're just using this image for personal use, is just quickly send it off to your printers and they will deal with it for you. But just to show you, if you do have Photoshop and you want to do it yourself, open it up in Photoshop there. Now to check the image file size, all you've got to do is just go along to the top right here, select image, then go down to image size and you will see that the image in Photoshop is 73.3 megabytes, which is awesome. So I know I've got the maximum file size as shown on the Alamy site, and I know I can continue on my project, which is awesome. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. Any questions, all you've got to do is just ask us on the customer service help desk, and we'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you might have. Okay, but as for that, that's it.